Singapore is a fascinating place with a rich culture and history. The only island city-state in the world, Singapore is a beautiful blend of Malaysian, Chinese, Indian, and English cultures. With very high standards of living, Singapore is also known for being one of the most expensive places to live in. But there are also many free things to do in Singapore that can be enjoyed by all. Let's take a look at the 10 ways you can have fun in the city without spending any money at all. The Singapore Botanic Gardens is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Singapore. The gardens are home to a variety of plant life, as well as a few animals, including the endangered Malayan tapir. The gardens are also home to the National Orchid Garden, which is the largest orchid garden in the world. Admission to the Botanic Gardens is free, making it a great activity for those on a budget. Head over on a lazy weekend and enjoy entertaining events, recreational facilities, and more under the garden's umbrella. With its history going back to 1,849, when it started as the Raffles Library and Museum, the National Museum of Singapore is the nation's oldest museum and one of the city's major landmarks. The museum is home to a variety of exhibits, including a section on the history of Singapore, as well as galleries on art, Southeast Asia, and natural history. If you have time to visit only one place to learn about the history and culture of Singapore, this is probably it. Trust us on this one, Gardens by the Bay is the only one of its kind. Located by the Marina Bay waterfront, Gardens by the Bay is a surreal coming together of horticulture, technology, and architecture, and is completely free for anyone to visit. While access to the conservatories and walkways are ticketed, you can spend your day walking among giant super trees, seeing stunning floral gardens, and admiring one of the most fascinating pieces of architecture anywhere in the world without spending a dollar. While the hill isn't the tallest in Singapore, Mount Faber's top offers exceptional views of Singapore's increasingly dense central business district and is the perfect hiking spot in Singapore. You can hike to its top via Maring Trail or the Southern Ridges Park Connector. Both paths will take you through secondary rainforests that cover its slopes. Set among the rainforests of Mac Ritchie Nature Reserve, the treetop walk is a highlight of many a hiking trails that go through these forests. The walkway is a freestanding suspension bridge that connects the two highest points in Mac Ritchie and offers a bird's eye view of the plants and animals that live in the forest canopy. The Esplanade is one of the busiest art centers in the world. Enjoy a cultural evening admiring performances from various local bands, traditional dance forms, and theater shows. The Esplanade comprises a theater, a concert hall, and an outdoor performance zone, which can be accessed for free. Yes, we know, the Marina Bay Sands Resort is expensive if you choose to dine or stay there. But what's absolutely free is Spectra, the light shows that take place every day from 8 p.m. and goes on till 9 p.m. or 11 p.m. on weekends. Get a spot on the event plaza in the promenade and watch the three towers throw multicolored light beams into the Singapore night. Watch the 15-minute show unfold in a four-part story and a beautiful symphony of dancing fountain jets, colorful visual projections, and lasers, all led by an orchestral soundtrack. A temple nested in the Chinatown district, the Buddha Tooth Relic Temple is one of the most sacred places in Singapore and is a popular tourist destination. The temple draws Buddhist devotees from across the world as it houses an alleged tooth of the founder of Buddhism, Siddhartha Gautama. This place of worship can be visited for free by locals and tourists.
The Changi Point is one of the most popular beaches in Singapore along its east coast. With a boardwalk of 2.2 kilometers along the coast, there are plenty of free things to do along the Changi Boardwalk. The boardwalk is divided into six sections, each one offering an outstanding view for its visitors. Think mountain biking in Singapore, and the name Bukit Timah immediately springs to mind. It is one of the most popular trails for mountain biking in Singapore. If you're an experienced biker, this 6.5 km lush green tropical trail will be right up your alley. Other free things to do in Singapore that we couldn't quite squeeze into our list are the Singapore Art Museum, free open-air cinemas, the Sempawang Hot Spring, chilling at Czech Jawa, and free concerts of the Singapore Symphony Orchestra. That brings us to an end of our list of best things to do in Singapore that are absolutely free. If we've missed out on any of your favorite things to do, let us know in the comments. If you're looking for exclusive experiences and access to the most popular attractions and landmarks in Singapore, don't forget to check out our website. For more updates and guides, follow our blog, link in the description below.